It's summertime. CGI YSB. That's the camp spirit. You are accepted as a staff member in camp. How exciting. How cool is that? Well, let me tell you one thing about camps. Back in the day, they were ran a little bit differently. This carpet represents how camps used to be. This carpet represents camps today. This summer, we have a team of eyes and ears who are not afraid to report abuse. We will no longer tolerate anybody. I don't care who you are, what family you come from. You could have the biggest name out there. We will expose you. My dear, beloved camp staff member, I speak to you today, not face to face, but heart to heart. I wanna ask you a question. Imagine it's one night, you're in a terrible mood, you're crushed, depressed, devastated, you really wanna vent, you feel like beating somebody up or killing somebody. Would you ever entertain the idea of taking a child and murdering him? I want you to know something. When you touch a child inappropriately, when you molest a child, when you violate the body of a child, you may see it as just a small, insignificant act, allowing yourself to fulfill your craving and having fun for a few minutes. But the reality is that for decades after this event, even if it happens once, this child will experience untold levels of misery and pain and suffering. A teacher can be an amazing teacher, can give a fantastic lesson, bring in activities, take the kids on trips. But with one insult to a child, they've ruined everything they've invested. All the child will remember is that insult. Imagine how that's magnified when you talk about abuse when a child is touched inappropriately. There is a significantly higher number of suicides among children or adults who have survived child sexual abuse. Sexual abuse is not only wrong and dangerous, it is also a crime. In the criminal justice system, those who abuse children are dealt with most harshly. My name is Mayor Seewald. I'm sure you've heard of our organization called Jewish Community Watch and the infamous Wall of Shame. And if you haven't heard of it, you better go check it out. Because on there are people that have touched children inappropriately, their faces, their addresses. They've been exposed to the community for the disgusting, horrific acts they have done against children. If you sexually abuse a child, one day we will catch up to you. And prison is no place for a from child molester. And although you look at them and they may seem functional, but so many of these victims are literally dead people walking, dead men and women walking. My dear staff member, even if you have the most intense instinct and craving, do not allow yourself to become a murderer of a child's life. And I wanna share something with you. There is help for you out there. If you are experiencing in yourself a tendency, a craving, don't deny it. Don't make believe it doesn't exist and act on it. There is help available for you in confidence, in complete secrecy and privacy. Turn to a person who is a professional who can help you. There are people who will guide you towards a life of health, of happiness, of wholesomeness. If you have a problem, don't go into camp. Go get help. Go talk to somebody about it. It is your obligation to us as parents and to our children to watch out and make sure our kids have a safe summer. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open. If you see anything that may be suspicious, you have an obligation to immediately report that to your camp director. You can also report it anonymously to Jewish Community Watch and it will be investigated. You touch a child, we will find out about it. It may not be six months, it may not be a year, it may not be five years, it may be 10 years down the road. Recently there was just an arrest of somebody that abused a child 10 years ago in camp. His whole life shattered in front of his eyes because of what he did. Trust me, even if you can get away with touching a child inappropriately, even if you will never be caught, I doubt it, 
But even if you will never be caught, you do not want to carry the burden in your chest of knowing that you have snuffed out the soul of a child, that you have murdered an innocent young boy or girl. It is not only too much for them to bear, it's too much for you to bear. With everyone looking out this summer, don't make yourself look suspect. Please follow the appropriate guidelines for good touch, bad touch, and never be found alone with a child in a room. This is your first and final warning. If you touch a child, even once, you have destroyed him for the rest of his life. We will make sure that the tables are turned and your life will be destroyed. Times have changed. Abuse will no longer be tolerated and swept under the carpet. Please share this video with everybody you know on Facebook. It may save a child this summer.